Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Chaftamon of Coffee, back with another episode of Civilization IV, Realism Invictus. So, continuing where we left off. Uh, well. Basically, um, we're coming to a close on the guide series. Yes, I know, some of you probably want me to play through the entire game, but... I'm at a stage of the game where it's not, it's not really a guide, so per se. You're just kind of watching me play, and I, I have I will be making another series of Rhythm Invictus uh, 3.5. Oh, a bit loud. Um, yeah, Rhythm Invictus 3.5. I will be making another series of at a higher difficulty, one that I'm more comfortable playing uh, on a general basis, and that should be more challenging and more fun for you guys to watch. But for, for those of you that are getting into Realism and Victors, hopefully this will help. Uh, it's a little grosser. And over here, it's a little bit grosser over here. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of doing the final touches to our empire. Just a few final touches. Oh, we completed the Chichen Itza. Well, that's good. Get another lumber mill over there. So, this episode we're going to be getting Rudder as a technology, which is absolutely essential for the functioning of uh, high level empires, as far as I'm concerned. Um, it is one of the best. Uh, there you go, Hinduism has spread some more. We're going to need to make sure that we. Lumber In Lalabela, which is. Uh, where was Lalabela? Oh, it's over here. Um, you're going to need to get a monastery and a temple. Uh, you're going to need to build a, another swami. Uh, yeah, lots of people getting uh, taken over. Uh, looks like uh, the Celts and the Turks are at war pretty hard. Um, everybody else seems to be... Turks have been destroyed, yeah. So the, the Ke I think the Turks were a revolution empire, but I'm not sure. I don't think revolution is on, so I guess the Celts just beat them up. Um, which is not really a surprise. Uh... They don't have a great deal of farms here, so perhaps building some more farms is a good idea. I don't like covering over city ruins to get some good events with them, but... Oh, they failed to spread Hinduism in Mekele. Alright, oh, well we'll have to just build another one. It's fine. Trajans finished the church. So the, the Romans have gone Christian. What a surprise. Uh, let's see. Grab and market. Inquirer. Yeah, epidemic. Uh, it will give it an epidemic chance, so we'll, we'll build the African bath first. And there's rudder. Okay, so, it's an incredibly important uh, technology because of this. Merchant families. 25% maintenance cost from distance to palace. Excellent stuff. Plus one trade route per city. And every uh, plantation gives you one extra commerce. And every merchant gives you extra gold. That's gold that goes straight to the treasury. The maintenance cost and extra trade routes is is just insane. Is is probably one of the best economic uh, techs. I keep it all the way up until like free market or uh, even like the higher level ones. Merchant families is just an incredible civic, and you get it from rudder. Rudder also leads on to most of the colonial style techs. You know, like being able to cross the ocean that sort of thing. Uh, so we will be taking rudder straight away. Uh, it's just fantastic. I cannot recommend Rudder enough. Um, I'm actually going to build a road over Carthage here. I know we're already trading with them, but opening up more trade routes is a good idea. So now if I look at any one of my cities, they have two trade routes. Um, and we should be able to get some more as time goes on. Um, let's drop a, a jeweler here. Um, Dabawa could actually be building that for Weaver's Hut. Because it does have access to hemp. So we've only got one left, but yeah, go on then. You can build the weaver's hut. Yeah. That'll help. Help some commerce in this uh in our new lands. Uh, there's some pigs over here which we can uh, get access to. Don't know if we've already got access to pigs, so we'll just grab it anyway. Uh, that's a good point, I should probably check to see what my actual tech route is now. What was I planning on teching? Um, don't need elephant training. Uh, siege craft, fortification, feudal contracts, city rights. Yeah, city rights is pretty important. Um, 
probably want algebra, algebra, geometry that enables schools with city rights, and then pharmacy and botany and optics. These are sort of the texts that you want for. So algebra, geometry allows schools, which obsoletes the storytell circle, but provides a lot more science and birth rate. It's just good stuff. Um, pharmacy botany will enable us to cultivate coffee, which will give us some more luxury resources. Um, optics build caravels, uh, which can sail across the ocean, from what I remember. Or do I need another tech for that? Can't remember if I need another one before that one or not. Uh, navigation would be really handy as well, because that enables trade across oceans. Um, but for now, I think this is what we're going to go with. Uh, we will want mill machinery as well to remove swamps. I uh, don't know if we care too much about mechanics. We do care. I could get Muja hit and I could build uh, or divine right to get Muja hits, but not too fussed about that. Uh, we will want crucible steel, uh, but we could just go straight for black powder arquebus, which is probably we're going to just go for arquebus, I think, and then probably printing press after that. Yeah, I think we're going to ignore plate armor and stuff. We're just going to go straight to a gunpowder army. Because we, we will be technologically more advanced than other nations. Going for gunpowder early is a good idea. And now we have access to medieval techs. So we can build some of these. One health to all cities. And four simple science. Uh, one plus commerce to all harbors. Which is good. Uh, one plus science to all libraries. It's just an excellent one. Uh, and then, obviously, we've got... Oh, I think somebody else has built the uh, plus science from scientists. So we're just going to go for the plus one science to all libraries. Because that's that's good stuff. And that will give us a flat boost of science, even if we don't have any commerce being put into science. So we like that. We do like that. Uh, I wouldn't mind building some more farms for this settlement. I don't think it can even work on them as the thing. So we're going to pop down here and build a, build a cottage. And we need to... We need to link these two provinces up as well. Alright, so you can build... Yeah, you can build temples now. That's good. So you can get some temples built. we got the University of Sancourt almost finished. That will improve our tech rate immensely. All these temples will start providing more technology. There you go. We've boosted up by 11 points of technology. Now every single one we build from now on will provide even more. Uh, let's get uh, City Square. So we're really focusing on spreading our religion throughout our lands, making use of the University of Sankor. That's Kernazem, which is not so useful. We can't build coffee plantations there, so we'll just build a farm instead. Uh, let's build a road right here, and probably a mine as well, to make use of it. Uh, capital can build a, build a workshop. Uh, haven't got any issues with that. So yeah, we're, we're mostly trading with our with our own lands right now. We're not trading with uh, other kingdoms. Apparently, we make more coin just by trading with ourselves. Let's get a harbor. We need more harbors. Um, it's not going to need the culture. So yeah, harbor's good. Workshop does provide more production though, so we're going to get the workshop. Uh, always try and focus production. We've got fortification, which does enable better walls, as far as I remember. Oh, we build, like, castles and stuff now. Uh, I will start building walls. I might move away from a republic pacifism soon. But we're not planning on war. Here's the thing. If you're not planning on going to war with people, you don't need to move away from pacifism for a while. Um, let's see. Uh, let's, get, let's get some walls over here as well. Let's just start building walls uh, in preparation. Of if we do need to fight some other na uh, empires, uh, let's go build some more. Yeah, let's get a bath there. The capital. We can't get any more wonders, so we're going to mark it since they have a lot of trade routes heading towards them. Uh, if we were to, we could actually increase our technology a little bit, um, which we will do. Our economy is able to sustain it, so we might as well. Um, which is a big plus. Build some more lumber mills. Our cities won't prioritize working the lumber mills just yet, but that's fine. They're useful to have anyway. Uh, let's get some... They can build a farm here, so we might as well. Mekele doesn't have a great source of food. 
Uh, let's get an archery range. Does that enable us to train longbows if we ever bother to side tech to longbows? Um, don't look like they're going to have much food here, so we're going to chop that down, build another farm. Let's get some monasteries and such built up. Um, in fact, after that, you probably want to get a workshop, then a harbour, and then those. I think we've more or less spread Hinduism everywhere now in our lands. Oh, we've got one more province we could do, so let's, let's do it down here, Mindafira. Um, probably build a workshop, and then they can build some other stuff. I'll build five stables. Oh, that should, that should be no problem. Yeah, we can build five stables. Uh, let's get another... Get another lumber mill built. Now, it, we're probably going to need a couple more... If we swap to monarchy, we would suddenly start making a lot more coin. Uh, because Republic is costing us now. A uh, fair amount, actually. That's fine. Uh, do I want another farm here? Don't think it needs it. Just build a lumber mill. A siege craft. We're going to go for feudal contract. We might be able to just vassalize the Koreans. They, they hate us, but we could always vassalize them anyway. And let's build an arena. Extra culture. It's never, never a bad thing. Hinduism spreading Carthage. People converting to grocery. Interesting. Interesting choice of religion to follow. Given Hinduism is clearly superior. It's got nothing to do with the fact that we, uh, we invented it. Invented, we discovered it. Well, well, if if you were to, is a religion discovered? Is it is it theorized? Is it is it invented? I don't know. It's not invented. Okay. Maybe, um, I don't know what the, the proper theological term for that would be, uh, where a religion is for. I mean, you found a religion, yes, but is it like I suppose the process of creating one is is sort of like theorizing it. Not to sound too scientific, because yeah. Um, that doesn't enable a citizen to become an engineer, but I could also build some war galleys. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna build a war galley over there. Get us a little bit more. Build siege workshop. And now we're starting to run out of things to build in our settlements. Uh, some of our settlements might have to pop over to um, just producing wealth or something similar. We're gonna build a couple of war galleys over here. One to go to each sea lane. Um, these, these ships can actually come all the way down. Uh, we can't cross there yet. Um, so we'll, they'll just come down over to here, I suppose. Actually, let's put these units in our borders. That way we're actually making money again. I was losing money because they were outside of the borders. It was silly. Um, that's a, a hill, so I like to build mines. I always, even once I have the lumber mill technology, if it's a hill, I build a mine. Because mines can discover resources. Lumber mills can, well, lumber mills can discover, no, they can't actually discover prime timber, so there you go. Uh, lumber mills are just stuck with being a bit meh. Uh, who just built the, Hans the Hansetic League? Because somebody's actually quite advanced. It's something I need to keep an eye on now, because some of the other nations are getting fairly advanced. Um, not as advanced as us, but they are certainly getting there. We need to start improving our our tech. Build an African bath. Uh, make sure all of our cities are set to production for the time being. Yep, except our new ones, which are set to food. Uh, you're set to food. Yeah, you just don't have any. You're set to food. Okay, should be fine. Yeah, they should be fine to grow for quite some time. We've got plenty of resources to keep them happy. Uh, let's build a stable. Hindu wedding. Cool, so Carthage is now, like, our best friend ever. This doesn't happen in a lot of my games, but, um... Yeah, I'll accept that, so we've got some more resources. Even though Hinduism doesn't allow that to give health, it gives happiness, but it's still handy. Um... Yeah, uh, in a lot of my games, I don't generally get a ally who's this pro us. This is this is incredible. We've got like plus six, eight, ten, sixteen, plus sixteen relations with Carthage, so they should always be uh, pretty. Well, let's fund an additional exploration. There. That's why I like to keep the city ruins because you get free tech um, out of them. 
Uh, we don't need a bronze smith, as far as I'm aware. Do we, do we already have bronze? That's a good question. We've got copper. We have one. Do we have any bronze? I don't think we do, actually. Hmm. Another source of copper for bronze would be really nice. But we can live without it. I'm going to set the city to wealth production. I always prefer to put wealth production and then boost tech. Because um, this city... It's production going into coin, which then your percentage taking your commerce tends to be more efficient. I'm not 100% sure on the maths of that, but I think producing wealth and then just boosting the research slider is, is more efficient. Uh, if somebody can uh, tell me whether that's actually the case or not, but I'm fairly sure that's the case. Well, not free range. More taverns wouldn't be bad, get more, some more espionage. Um, generally, I do like to go up to 20% culture as opposed to just uh, 10%. Um, it helps a lot more of your um, your buildings produce more produce more car, uh, happiness. Mm. Mm. Nine horse archers. Uh, all range mount units promote sentry, or all our stables provide food. Oh, um, I'm gonna go with the food. I think that's uh, way more handy in the long term. Long term planning. We don't need the horse archers. We don't need like an immediate influx of a bunch of troops. So. Uh, let's build an aqueduct there since it's becoming unhealthy. And we have feudal contracts. Excellent. We can adopt feudal aristocracy, which if you combine with monarchy, gives you good value. Um, you can train the uh, knights and foot knights, which are very powerful medieval units, but we're just going to skip those and go straight to... Uh, um, straight to gunpowder. I think we're technologically advanced. I failed the quest of the elite swordsman. Oh, never mind. I don't need swordsman. I do not need swordsman right now. Oh, actually, they've already built a road that way, so actually you can just build a road to connect that up with uh, Carthage's cities there. Uh, jeweler, sure. Um, actually, let's build... Um, they've already got stables. Build walls. And the barracks and archery range. And maybe a jeweler. Actually, the jeweler does give commerce, so we'll build that first. We get another great person. Uh, great merchant, okay. I'm not too bothered about focusing on, like, I think a lot of people think you need to spend. This is just popping down the city. Um, you need to micro your, like, which great people you're generating. I don't think you really need to do that. It's, it's good if you want to focus on getting one particular type of great person. Uh, for example, scientists, because scientists are dank. Uh, but you don't have to. If you're playing on lower difficulties, you most certainly don't have to be that focused on generating particular great people. Full Siege Workshop enables us to get more engineers, which is a good way if we wanted to get um, great engineers. We could use Siege Workshops to get great engineer uh, characters. Um, Sochi is still, still a bit low on the food. Um, but that's that's fine because it's already very unhealthy. It needs to sort that out. Um, here probably needs. Oh, they've already built an aqueduct, so they should be fine for health for yeah quite some time. Get their Hindu temple up. And they don't need a theatre, so they could build a yeah. Let's build a granary and a smokehouse after that to store that growth. Um, don't think we need catapults particularly. You can just move on to producing wealth. Our uh, jewel is fine. Go to sentry. Uh, we can actually upgrade these battering rams to catapults now. Uh, this is declared war on the Koreans. The Koreans should be wiped out of the game right now. I don't think there's any way they survive this attack. Uh, 660 gold. Um, yeah, gold on. Makes our army look a bit scarier. The Koreans have been destroyed. Yeah. Somebody else declared war on the Koreans just before they were annihilated, which is kind of amusing. So I thought they'd dogpile in on them. Right, let's go up to 60% tech. Oh, our farm got destroyed. Oh dear. Well, we weren't. We probably weren't using it anyway. Uh, we don't need an arena so much. Get a city square instead. Uh, you can be focused on wealth as well. Boost tech up to 70. And now we're just going to be swimming in research for quite some time, actually. Quite some time. Um, I'd like you to build a road over to that silver. Get some silver in our empire. Make 
make our people even happier. So now we have city rights. Once we get algebra and geometry, we can get schools to boost our tech even more. We can also now swap to uh, free commoners, which is probably what I would do. Um, I don't... Like, tribalism doesn't do anything, right? Slavery serfdom causes revolts, which can be a real pain in the ass to deal with. And caste system, like, gimps your birth rate. Uh, so we're going to go with free commoners, and that will just be... So we skip from tribalism all the way up to free commoners. Uh, which is what I, I, I regularly do in my games, like, I regularly do that. You skip all the way up to three commoners. Uh, these two workers, they could build some more mines around, I suppose. Uh, once we get pharmacy and botany, we can pop a coffee plantation down there. Uh, I don't think we've got coffee, so that would be nice. I think it helps our markets a bit more. Don't think... Oh, we can build... Ah, oh, we build trade fairs now. Um... This city has a few postures, but not a huge amount, but it's probably one of my better ones. It's also a coastal city, so I think we will build a trade fair there. Oh, we can build local bureaucracies now as well. Okay, let's get local bureaucracies going. We can build trading posts and all sorts of good stuff. Alright, let's get local bureaucracies built up. Uh, Lalabela can get one as well. Uh, yeah, we are going to lose, be losing a lot of gold, but I'm going to keep my tech, because we've got a massive amount uh, stockpiled. And the local bureaucracies will help us make even more coin. Um, trading fairs are just amazing. Uh, extra foreign trade yield. It's sort of the point where foreign trade becomes more valuable than standard trade. So we're going to keep building those basically everywhere we can. And these coastal cities uh, that we have that are quite large, I can build uh, trade fairs there as well. Um, another large coastal city we're likely to have. Probably Dabawa there. Maybe Sochi. Sochi has got clams as well. Let's build a trade fair up in Wara. Because they've got a lot of commerce resources around them. And I think, I think Sochi's probably going to be a bit larger. It, it's certainly going to be able to work more cottages, I think. Because it's got two food resources. So I'll build a trade fair there as well. Now that will increase chance of epidemic by quite a quite a margin, but that's fine. Um, I think we can manage that. No. Um, our galley scout is uh, doing some work. Oh sure, why not build some fishing docks? Um, don't need to chop those down. Don't. Nobody can actually work on that city. That nobody can work on that city ruin, so we'll just keep it in our borders and probably get a bunch of free science out of it, which is uh, feels good. Um, because we're going to be building a trade fair here, they do have a couple of mines, not a huge amount though. They've got the prime timber, so I think we'll build some cottages around Sochi. Let's get Mendefira and into fishing docks, because otherwise they can't have any food. They're going to need they're going to need some irrigation spread down for them, I think. Um, over here, what do we want? Um, you do have a lake, so maybe the lighthouse will actually be quite good for you there. Um, <laughs> yeah, come down, build some more cottages. Uh, local bureaucracy is good, saves us some coin. And anything that boosts trade as well is going to be really nice in the city. We'll start focusing on that. Uh, oh, we're not the most powerful civ. That's fine. Oh, there's the Egyptians. Hello, Egypt. Uh, they really don't like us. That's fine. Egypt's very weak. Probably been getting beaten up by the other sieves. There's algebra and geometry. Okay, let's get another cottage over here. Let's build this over to the gold. And now, after the trading post, we can build schools, which increases our birth rate, increases our science, gives us more culture. It's just, it's just all good. It's all good, really. Um, I'm gonna focus on building those wherever we can. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll build that before the trade post, so we've got it. And we are losing a lot of money, but that's fine. We will end up making more money, so that's okay. With all these trade posts, which will actually help us get more science as well. You can see our science is just constantly climbing as I end the turns. Uh, let's get an arena, why not? Why not? We are going to need more farms around here. Or 
around Mendefera specifically. I can build farms, say, I can build a farm here, then build another one here and here, and then turn that back into a dive plantation, since they'll be carrying. Oh, the aqueduct provides a source of fresh water, so we could just build a farm there straight away. Yeah, that's no problem. Um, aside from that, yeah, we're just building up. There's pharmacy and botany. Uh, all our food crops plantations now start providing more food. It's not actually super relevant, but uh, I'm going to have these two workers run back over here to build a coffee plantation. Sochi has become unhealthy again. Why are you so unhealthy? Uh, cool. Um, that does provide two health, but not as quickly. That provides five, uh, three health, so we'll build a smokehouse nice and fast. Um, you two get a coffee plantation up. And now that coffee plantation has created coffee. We can build a proper, not a plantation, a coffee plantation, which is a special one that provides extra happiness to the nearby cities. That could work on it. Right, let's get some farms up here first before the die. The die is less of a concern for us. Um, oh, we can build the farms already. Oh, that's good. That is good. Uh, got a lot of mines we could build. Start cut, cutting the forest down, build mines. So I think once we hit another like major technology uh, technological breakthrough, I'll call it for the, the episode. But we've still got some stuff we can, we can build before that happens. As you can see, we're on seventy percent tech now. Only losing five gold turn. We are swimming in wealth. And that is, that is very ideal for our situation. Now we will be, we will just be surpassing everyone's technology. Um, oh, well just give me your cows anyway. Okie dokie, glass blowing and porcelain, which is sort of helpful. I suppose I would rather have more craftsmen in my bigger cities, so I think we'll get one in the capital. Oh, requires a parts workshop. Oh, why can you not build one? I'm sure you have a parts workshop. Never mind. Alabela could build one. And I suppose Quara could build one as well. So let's get all those glass workshops built. Could even start trading glass. I don't think many nations will want glass, but we'll grab it anyway. Ah, uh, we can start training pikemen and things now as well. Um, Alright, so since we've now ran out of things to build in Gondo, we're going to come off of that. We're going to move back to great people. And that should now have, yeah, a bunch of great people. Merchant scientists, artists. A bunch of free great people as well. We've got free craftsmen, we've got free scientists. We've got two great merchants that are settled down there. So, Gondor is going to go back to just getting great people. Uh, hopefully scientists, so we can just keep on boosting our way through the tech tree. There we go, there's another one. Loads of scientists. Um, plus one commerce to harbour in all cities is quite nice. Plus one health to all cities on this continent is much better, in my opinion. Uh, health becomes a serious issue around the medieval period if you can't... Um, if you don't have the tech, really. So, uh, let's see... Uh, this is a fairly small army, but this army does need more foot troops, so we'll, we'll pop them in there. They will get a logistics penalty, but I can always split them up later on when it becomes more more relevant. Uh, let's pop you back on wealth. Are you currently... you are currently trying to get food, you just don't have any. Um, yeah, you're going to need a lot more food. Right, now we're making shed loads of cash again. Uh, we're going to bump culture up to 20%. And we're going to bump espionage up to 10%. And this is ideally the... Uh, I do like having some espionage. Uh, even if it's just to be able to see every other civ's borders. And other civs tend not to like putting too much coin into espionage. So it tends to be quite easy to get vision over their lands. Aha, uh -huh, more monies. Excellent. And as you can see, we are just, our economy is booming again, absolutely booming. And it will only get better, it will only get better. 
Um, will you s take some tobacco? You will. How about some hemp? What will you give me for that? Four gold? I'll take it. Let's try sell some hemp to some of the empires. Uh, nine gold a turn. Do you want some hemp? Nine gold a turn? Accept. Uh, Unguni? You're not making any gold per turn, but I'll take your world map. Thank you very much. Just uh, It just updates borders between empires. It's a good thing to go through and grab that on occasion. Um, Carthage. You want uh, hemp? Four gold a turn. Sounds good. Celts. Uh, they're not making any money whatsoever, so we'll ignore them. Incans. You're not making any money whatsoever. Egyptians. You're also not making any money. In fact, you're totally broke. So now we're making money. Uh, we were making money. Uh, let's see what else we can build. Walls. Walls and barracks and archery range and siege workshop. Just just, just start building stuff, really. We're in a bit of a renaissance before the renaissance. Uh, he wants tobacco. Sure. I'd rather not piss off another nation across the ocean. There's, there's no need for me to do that, so we won't do that. We'll just not piss them off. Um, we we'll like to keep friendly relations as much as possible. Because one thing that the AI is quite good at uh, in Realism Invictus is naval invasions. They will actually drop like 20 plus units uh, next to your poorly defended coastal cities and just start wrecking havoc in your lands. Now, it might be fairly easy to repel them in theory, but you're having to spend resources doing that that you would otherwise not want to spend. So, it's a good idea to just, just keep on good good terms, not have to worry about it. Let's get a bar this off that, keep that epidemic down. Epidemic chances, best avoided. Uh, in fact, they don't need that straight away, they could build something else that's more useful. Uh, for example, the market. Um, but I think we're going to pop this city over to production, because they're actually quite large now, that's already a fairly reasonably sized city. Alright, we've got mill machinery, so workers build improvements faster, we can drain swamps, we can build sawmills. Sawmills are basically just an upgraded version of uh, carpenters, so we're going to get them built everywhere that we can. And we'll, we'll run out of money whilst we're doing this, but it's, it's temporary. And we end up getting more production out of it, so I guess it ends up evening out or being a cash gain as opposed to cash loss. Uh, we don't want to hurry any of those sawmills, so no, no need to. There you go, a bunch of sawmills got completed. And we're making money again. Uh, we can build windmills too. Which, windmills might actually be a good idea around Mendefira, because they just don't they just don't really have any food. They could work on these farms. Why are their farms so terrible? Are they not irrigated? Oh, they're not considered to be irrigated. Um, hmm. Yeah, they would need to spread water from one of these provinces, I suppose. I'll tell you what, we are going to build a farm here first. Try and spread that irrigation. Let's get that. Because that might... Hmm. Do we need the dyes? Have we got any other sources of dyes? We don't, actually. Uh, in that case, change plan. Uh, you will build a plantation. And we're going to have to swap these over to cottages and build some um, windmills. So that's fine. There's no problem. Uh, Rome's capturing more land. I hope Rome's not going too ham. Archery training, which we need for Archibuse. Can we build anything from archery training? No, but we can start building uh, longbows, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, Abyssinian longbows. Not bad. Oh. Wait, some of Carthage's lands being captured by barbarians? That must have been like a random event or something. Must have been a random event. I can't imagine Carthage is losing land to barbarians as just a general thing. They might be, but I hope not. Uh, plus one commerce to all harbours, I think, is the next best science thing we can grab. Uh, oh! The Unguni are more advanced than us? Really now? Well, that is surprising. Oh, the Unguni are already getting gunpowder. In that case, we're going to have to start waiting some more uh, spies on the Unguni. 
just to keep an eye on what their technology is. It's always good to try and weight your spies on the nations that are more advanced than you. Uh, so you have the option of going over and stealing their technology later on, um, which is always a good start. Uh, they're going to need a lot more windmills, but you can build a farm there, which is irrigated, so it'll provide quite a lot of food. So we'll, we'll build a farm down there. Markets. Uh, local bureaucracy first. Saves us some more coin. There's military engineering. Starting to go for mechanics. Uh, toll houses and stuff are not useful for this. Uh, three three coin from building a courthouse though is. Um, that's a desert windmill, which is not great. In fact, desert windmills are probably not even worth it. If I was to build a plains windmill, it still only provides two food. Hmm. I guess we're going to have to, because otherwise it will just never grow. Eventually the windmills will provide some more, more food later on, later on down the line. When we get mechanical engineering... Wait, do we have mechanical engineering already? can't remember if that's like one of the... Let's see. No, we don't have mechanical engineering yet. It's a bit further down. There we go, mechanical engineering. We'll grab that. It also allows levees, which are pretty dank. Pretty dank. Uh, no school. Uh, ah, we can build castles now. Uh, um, I'll tell you what, we're going to build a castle in Lalabela. I'm not too bothered about the special buildings that come from castles, uh, but I might want to build the Kremlin. So, uh, um, if I built a windmill here, it would actually provide, actually provide food. Or at least, you know, yeah, it would actually give some food. Um, and we're going to turn the plains hills into windmills and the desert ones we're going to convert back to mines because they're not useful for much else. Grand Arsenal. Heals water units, builds water units faster. I, mean, I suppose that's the more important thing, but we we'll go back to wealth. Alright, so Lala Bay has built that. We've built the Kremlin now. Oh, maintenance in nearby cities. Aha, uh -huh, well it's better if we build that down here then. I forgot what the Kremlin did in, um, thingy. I'm not too, but uh, actually having a Castle in Lava Bay is probably quite a good idea as well. So we've got mechanics. Uh, let's get a. Let's go grab a grocer. Michele, you're going to build the Kremlin because that will reduce maintenance in all our nearby cities down here, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Let's get some more windows built up. Move our army over here. Put them on guard. Not that we're planning on invading um, the Carthaginians anytime soon. Uh, let's see. And Michele's can get another um, naval workshop. Aha! Produce naval supplies. It does consume hemp though, so I think what we'll do is we'll go to Carthage and um, what deals do we have? I'm going to cancel the hemp deal. Because we want we want hemp available to build naval workshops. Um, not sure if building a naval workshop in Mendefira is the best idea. Actually, maybe we should build something else. Build a, a workshop. Maybe we'll build the naval workshop up in Guara. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Uh, these guys can come over here and build a windmill there. That should give Mendefira plenty of food to work with if they want to grow. Pretty much most of our cities should be set to... Oh, we've got a great profit. Oh, that's interesting. Um, we haven't actually built the uh, great building for the for Hinduism yet. It's been ages. We've just had no chance of getting a great profit. So that's that's good. That's really good, actually. That'll, that'll help a lot. Um, let's grab African Baths down here. Let's grab White House, I guess. Uh, build roads for that die so we can hook that up. Okay, let's pop the Kashi Vishwanath. Spy has been stumbled upon. And we've got clockwork. Uh, let's grab this lumber down here. So we can now build clock towers, which gives some more culture, which I'm not too fussed with, but we can turn people into artists, which might be relevant at some point. If we want to go for a culture victory, it's it's relevant, which is which is ideally what we would be doing um, when you look at our setup being. Oh damn, they're having an epidemic. Oh, that's bad. Probably had about 2% chance. 
neglected that settlement for slightly too long. Now they're having an epidemic. Uh, some of these workers I'm going to set to root. Because I'm not too fussed with them. Building particular improvements. Because I think, I think we've actually almost built all the improvements we can build. So I'm going to put another two of these workers on the route. And then I'm going to have these workers... What can they do? Uh, they can drain this marsh. That's what they can do. They've got a couple of marshes around them can remove and build more important things on. Not a huge deal of things, but a, a couple. Uh, Quara's already grown back up to size 10. Despite the epidemic. Uh, salt for hemp. Hmm. I mean, I do like salt. Uh, how about I give you prime timber instead? You want hemp as well. How about I give you marble? Yeah, because we don't need marble. We don't need marble to build anything. That's for, like, early wonders. So you can trade trade away your resources that are no longer relevant, like, like uh, marble. Uh, oh, we've got a, a great spy. And it's got walls. Uh, great spy. Um... We don't really need to infiltrate Carthage, it'd be a bit of a waste, so I'm just going to plop him down in Gonda. I could, I could save him for a, a Golden Age, but I'm not I'm not super super fussed by that. Uh, yeah, we've got a marsh over in Mekele as well, so we can get rid of that and build something better. Uh, I would like for Mendefira, which is going to primarily be a production city, I should think. I think I'm going to make them build the Grand Arsenal. And there's Heraldry. I think once we unlock gunpowder, I'll call that the, uh, the episode. But we're getting very close to our to our end point. Our end point is in sight. Because as you can see, we're very stable. We have an incredible economy. Our expansion options are basically overseas because we want to keep the Carthaginians well on our side. There we go, we've got another plus three relations there. Oh, our close borders spark tensions, not really. Um, so Carthage is forever going to be our ally, as long as we stay Hindu and they stay Hindu. Uh, we will always have an ally. So we, we have no reason to to worry about war with them at all. Oh, we have sulfur. Excellent. Well, you need sulfur or you can't have guns. Um, build a caravan house or something. Over uh, here we can build a Build some walls. Build some other. No, build the Grand Arsenal. Crucible steel will give us blast furnaces, so our production will be even stronger. And people are declaring war on each other and leaving us alone, which is very good. Ah, uh, we couldn't build the Grand Arsenal. Never mind. Uh, let's get blast furnaces built up everywhere. Last furnaces, production. Uh, council deals with the Japanese, no. I don't see why I would do that. Do you see why I'd do that? I don't see why I'd do that. Rome is getting pretty powerful though, however we are incredibly, like, I mean, uh, like, Carthage and ourselves basically half this island. Um, which is actually quite small to be fair. I always get stuck on the smaller island, I never get stuck on the bigger one. Whenever I do random maps. Um, it always irks me. It irks me. I should be putting spies in my cities. That's what I should be doing. Good point, actually. I'll probably do that now. Where are spies? Where's a spy? This is something I always forget to do. And if you've got espionage enabled, you really should do it. Um, stick a spy in every single city that you own. Because it will help thwart rival spies from stealing all your technology, which is certainly something you want to do. Because if they steal all your tech, you're going to have a bad time. You, all you need to do is just let them sleep in the city, and they'll help get rid of spies. And they don't cost very much, like, uh, build, like eight, eight spies is like maybe a couple of coins, it's just really not very much. Nothing, nothing you need to worry about, is what I'm saying. Certainly nothing you need to worry about. Spies just sitting there. 
we're gonna get black powder, we've got coal mining. Um, we're not the most powerful. In fact, Carthage is the most powerful, which is curious to me. Uh, it's gonna work both. I need to get this, these clams online. These clams working. So now that I've set my workers to root, they kind of just do their own thing. Uh, these guys have finished to clear up that marsh. Um, so what we need to do now is look for other marshes in our lands, which I'm fairly sure the only one is up here. Oh, there's another one there as well, so we can get a couple more cottages around Mackelle, which is nice. Uh, toll house, why not? Um, we had another epidemic, which kind of... We're at that point where epidemics are kind of unavoidable unless you just stop your city from growing, so... I tend to ignore it, because otherwise you're spending most of your time just micromanaging... Oh, is that tundra? Uh, swamp tundra. I guess we'll build a fort. It's not that important, but we'll do it anyway. Another great scientist? Oh, we've got a great engineer. Ah, now that's, that's something that is very, very curious. We're going to leave him there for now. Uh, what we'll likely do is... Um, who's this? Oh, it's a great engineer, right. Um, what tech's going to give us a good wonder? Let's, go, let's grab black powder. Uh, we could build the Oxford University, or National University. Where's the Oxford one? Um, that's a limited building. Is it critical thought that enables it? Or is it something else? Administration? No. Opera Globe Theatre. Of bureaucracy. Uh, no, it just gives a national university. I'm trying to think of a good wonder that I could nab quickly with this guy. Oh, Parliament at Big Ben, actually. Um, but that requires representation and stuff. I could just quick build the Taj Mahal, I suppose. Or Versailles, I could do that. Ah, germ theory is pretty good though. Medicine is certainly something I want to go for. You know what? We'll hold on to him. We'll hold on to him, and just see what see what becomes available. Uh, but we're about to get black powder. We'll probably call it there uh, for this episode. And the final episode. Well, uh, right. We have a little chat, guys. We have a little chat. Um, because to be honest, as you can see, oh god, we'll just grab all the training right now. Doubt it'll ever become useful, but you never know. So, let's build a courthouse. Right. Uh, here's our empire on this nice little globe. It's pretty productive. We've got great people getting popped out every 20 odd turns. Our tech is more or less unparalleled. Culture is, is soaring. If we go to our. Uh, where is it? Victory conditions. We own quite a lot of the world land area and world population. We need three cities with legendary culture. Now, if we really wanted to do that, we could do that pretty easily. We could we could focus entirely on culture and get legendary culture in these cities fairly quickly. Uh, we could also go for the space race. Um, I'm not too bothered about diplomatic victories, really. Um, but that is what we're working with. There will be another continent over here where apparently there's three more nations on it, three unknown rivals, uh, which we could go discover and conquer. We could build colonies over on the islands here. We could invade Rome or something like that. There's a lot of things we could do. Uh, but as you can see, that those are all your, your plans as you go later into the game. Because this is what we're doing. We're going later into the game. We're getting gunpowder units, which is when your armies start to become pretty much entirely gunpowder units. Uh, there's not as much strategy to building your armies because it's just kind of, if you can spit more men with muskets on the field, you do better. I mean, there's obviously the difference between, you know, you've got artillery, uh, recon units, but the the how you build your armies changes a lot. Um, so, yeah, it's we've kind of already come into the very later stages of the game. Um... I mean, I've f finished my building queues. I've done most of the uh, wonders that I can possibly do. 
we could even just invade Carthage if we felt like it. Or like once we get black powder, we could just build armies and just just start invading Carthage. That wouldn't be too difficult because at the end of the day, like oh, they do actually have a very large army there. Hmm. They do actually have quite a large army, uh, but as I said, it's we're in one of those stages where because we have so many cities currently just building wealth if i wanted to i could go oh every city that i have um i'd like you to just build uh you know trebuchets and and levies and footmen and stuff and i i could have a of an army that was three times the size of carthages in about the next 50 turns if i just set all these cities to build troops and then i could conquer about half of carthage in one war um and the same goes for every other nation um on the map basically so conquest wouldn't be too difficult and you, you're seeing where i'm getting to basically this is kind of the end of the guide as a guide now i have toyed with the idea of playing this through to its absolute ultimatum but it's not on a difficulty that i find hard um i know a lot of you will be playing on noble difficulty because you're getting used to realism and victors or perhaps you just like having more chill games um, which I do as well, like, I've enjoyed playing this one. It's not often I get to build these many wonders, I tell you. Playing on Emperor or Monarch difficulty, and you, you, all your wonders get stolen from you. Um, but yeah, I think I think we've built a successful empire. It, we, we completed the goals we set out to do, which was, you know, build a, an empire focused on great people, wonders. Um, we even got some war in there as well, so we, we covered every base, I think, really. Pretty much covered every base. And this wasn't even being completely efficient, particularly. Um, so, you know, you, you don't need to play super efficiently. You just you just kind of know what you're doing. And hopefully this series has helped you understand, like, what you know you want to do uh, when you play Realism Invictus. So I think I'm going to call it there. This will be the final episode of the guide series. And I think for the future i will well i know for the future i'll be doing another series on realism and victus uh i've got a couple other series i want to complete first before going back to it and i know by the end of the month sakiro is coming out which i want to be playing on stream and and then in april war of the sparks can be coming out for magic which i want to do a lot of um but in between all of that in between me doing my master strategy and my Stellaris Let's Play, which will be going up very shortly, at least, you know, the beginnings of them. Um, I would genuinely very much like to do a Realism Invictus 3.5 proper Emperor Difficulty Let's Play. Whether I, I win or lose, like, that's, that's irrelevant. Um, I generally find Emperor pretty pretty hard. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, it's been me, Shaft Commander Coffee. Thank you for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope it helped a lot, you know, learning to play Realism Invictus and getting into the game. Um, if enough of you spam in the comments, like, continue this Let's Play, like, come on, finish the game, I will have the save file so I can always go back and, and carry it on. But I think as far as a guide goes, this is about as far as, as it can reasonably go before the game is, is so fluid you can't really follow a structure. I mean, uh, probably about five episodes ago, that's that it got to that point. But I thought, you know what? Let's 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 go a bit further and get to the point where I feel comfortable. The empire is so successful that any one of you could pick up this empire right now and go on to win the game. Like you could take the save file and start playing it, and I reckon anybody, no matter how good or bad you are at Realism Invictus, you could you could finish this this game from here because you know technologically advanced massively wealthy high culture lots of wonders plenty of religions to work with i mean it's just you've got everything you could possibly want um and you've got most of the resources you could want as well so yeah i think i think this empire could be picked up by just about anyone and they could finish the game so yeah that will be the end of the guide series um i'll see you hopefully you guys check out some of the other series that will be coming out uh i've been having a load of fun playing shogun to master of strategy uh, i have been contemplating and also toying with the idea and playing actually a legendary campaign on it and it's bloody hard i'll tell you that much some of the battles i've won are absolutely just i i can't even begin to describe them 
um, literally three to one odds and coming out with like you know you you go into a battle with two thousand men you fight six thousand you come out with 500 casualties like it's just insane the kind of stuff that you have to do to win legendary on master strategy it's just bonkers um but yeah uh maybe, maybe i'll maybe i'll do that in the future but i'll continue the one i'm already doing um anyway enough rambling thanks for watching i'll see you next time goodbye